I've had my Ray-Ban Meta smart glasses for a little over a month now and suffice to say, I still really, really love it. For those who haven't seen the first video, link in the description below and possibly somewhere on your screen right now. But first, a quick features recap. This has a 12 megapixel camera, has 32 gigabytes of storage that approximates to around 500 shots or 50 one minute videos. That's the limit on how long a video that you could take with these pair of glasses. Then you can download, share, edit, your images and footage straight to the MetaView app. And it's listed as four hours of regular use. In my case, I use it very, very heavily. It tops around three, three and a half hours. This also has built-in speakers, which is surprisingly clear for an open ear earbud slash headphone. And once you've integrated the app through your phone, it's very solid for calls, meetings, and such. And again, most importantly, these are sunglasses, so they're available in two silhouettes. This is the Wayfarer and you have the headliner available as well. The lenses are available in both polarized and non-polarized versions. And you also have this option, which is the transition lenses. Let's talk about the features that I like more or like less outside. We are walking to the park and I have my glasses in my pocket. Best way to test sunglasses are outside. All right, we're at one of my favorite places in the park by this weird log. It's a little bit of patch. There's a patch of sunlight out there. I'm gonna wear my transition sunglasses so you guys can see in real time how it gets dark. I want to talk about the things that I like even more about the Meta Smart glasses and a few of the things that I still have a lot of issues with. You might lose the sun, but it's a real world test of the Ray-Ban Meta Smart glasses out of the case. And here we go. A few of the things that I like even more about the glasses is how amazingly clear the speakers are. I truly use them for most of my podcasts, all the music that I listen to, when I want to also be aware about my surroundings. If I really want to tune out, uh, and if I want noise canceling, I'll pop on my AirPods. But, but these glasses have had a lot of use for the past month or so. The other surprising thing that I've been using a lot more are the voice notification or the voice assist function of the actual glasses. Once you've integrated everything that you can from the MetaView app to your phone, you can turn on notifications when you get a text, when you get a WhatsApp message, as well as a, uh, a Facebook message. So every time I get a text and I do have these glasses on, it lets me know if I have a text. I can also have it read out if I wanted to, but I turned that function off because that gets a little too distracting when I'm doing other things or maybe I have the glasses on while I'm speaking to other people. So I just have the notification on that says that I do have a text, but it doesn't get through it out. And lastly, I'm, I'm super surprised about the battery life. So I know four hours listed and three and a half hours of heavy use might not sound a lot, but I have this on almost all the time, every day, and I don't even have to bring the case to charge it and even the case itself i've only charged this twice in the past month that i've had this so for a one-time charge of the case you get multiple charges of the glasses that can last you multiple days even weeks so i'm really impressed about the usability of the system and now that my glasses have gone fully dark in the span of what two minutes angle change taking into account that the sound of the speakers will not be as good as dedicated earbuds or headphones taken to the fact that the 
voice assist function is not fully integrated into all the other apps you can't say hey meta turn on spotify it won't work but you can still ask it like basic questions the only main gripe that i have is the actual alignment of your photos and your videos but because again the lens is on the left stem it's not one as to one what you see so that is still extremely difficult if you're doing pov stuff like this when you're looking at something within arm's length it is pretty much aligned but any further your subject becomes more and more towards to the right and then your horizon more and more is uneven it either tilts to the right tilts to the left depending on how you view things and again that's just the, that's the only major issue that i have with these glasses which is kind of weird because that was the main draw that pov look uh, and in the end it's not super pov i still love these though even at a very steep price i think it's still well worth it let's go back to the apartment it's getting cold in conclusion i still Picking the transition lenses has unlocked all of the other features that I never really considered when first purchasing it, besides from the image taking capability. It's really difficult to maximize the features if you don't have this on you at all times. And if you pick the darker lenses one, you won't be able to use it indoors. And for me, using this indoors is where it shines. I love listening to my podcast and my music with these glasses and the mic and the comfort of wearing the glasses in a prolonged time span makes it very, very easy to use in personal or professional calls. All in all, the camera is still not better than what you have on your phone and the speakers won't be as crisp and clear and as convenient as a dedicated earbuds or headphone. However, the combination of all of these at all times on top of having either sun or transition glasses or your prescription glasses make these Ray-Ban Meta Smart glasses really, really shine. I'm really, really looking forward to the third version of these glasses. I really like the trajectory of what they've improved from the first to the second generation, which are these. And my only major complaint that I hope gets fixed in the next iteration is being able to have a more one-to-one -one view on what you're seeing and what you're taking photos or videos up. Once they get that dialed down, either some way of aligning the view, even if the lens is on one side, or possibly integrating a more inconspicuous lens, maybe at the middle of the bridge, then I think more people will be jumping on these bandwagons and a lot of us who have this version won't have an issue upgrading. Anyway, that's it for my 30 plus day review of the Ray-Ban Smart Meta Glasses. Thank you very much for your time and watching. I hope you subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button, hit that notification bell so you know when new videos drop and I'll chat to you in the comments if you have any other questions about the Ray-Ban Smart Meta Glasses. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.